then you have diabetes, you have um, high blood sugar, and we measure how high blood sugar you have by measuring how many of the red cells that has uh, reacted with the high blood sugar in an irreversible reaction. You could say we, that, that the, the body gets sweetened in a way. The red cells we shift out every two, three months. But uh, if you have diabetes, so go with too high blood sugar, uh, this reaction happens. This is a reaction between glucose and an amino acid valine that is in the protein, irreversible. And then uh, uh, normal, normal people should have uh, around 4% of the red cells uh, uh, sweetened by this reaction. But diabetes most often have 10%. And uh, when you have that much, you get a lot of complication. You get uh, bad kidneys, bad sight, uh, you can get uh, bad uh, brain function, etc. This reaction happens every time the blood sugar goes over 8 millimol. A little of this reaction. That is the reason why we have 4%. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, and now uh, uh, this uh, discussion about uh, Alzheimer, for instance, and our weekend. Uh, mental performance with age. Um, <clears throat> it's not only atherosclerosis that is discussed now, but also you can then you study these Alzheimer brains, you get some deposits of a substance called amyloid, and uh, that is probably high blood sugar is involved in, in the production of this uh, substance. So it's, so it's important to keep the blood sugar uh, not swinging too much, because when it goes up, a little of this irreversible, irreversible reaction happens. And with the blood, we can shift out all the time, but not the brain and other organs.